What I want, really want to say to you is, yeah. when you take off, yeah. just mind that Lancaster bomber on the runway, yeah? What, that, that big see that, there? See that Lancaster bomber over there? Oh, yes. Here he comes. Jay, nice landing. In this video, I feel very privileged to be able to fly into one of the UK's best World War II air shows and on my paramotor. But before we get into that, I had a lovely little flight the day before over to the deactivated RAF firing range, where I get to see these amazing firing ranges and some shipwrecks. So I had a truly awesome weekend at Wingland. And then after the air show, I had a great flight over to Castle Rising with Jay and Lee. So this area here is usually a danger area during the week but it's deactivated at the weekend, so I thought, why not have a bimble over? So it's 6.30 in the morning, me, Chris and Pete are going to East Kirkby Air Show. That landing over there. So it's about an hour and a half flight and nice to stay at the air show all day and then come back later. Okay, it's 6.37. I think we're supposed to be launching at 6.45. So we've got Pete on his Dudek solo and we've got Chris on a reporter. It's 12 degrees on the ground now. There's a bit of dew on the ground. Wind is probably around four to five miles an hour on the ground. It's a bit stronger higher up. Two minutes, I've just got to get the flight suit on. No worries. So thanks to Jay for the footage. So we need to set off early because we have to be there before all of the GA aircraft arrive and before all of the display aircraft arrive. So uh, here we are. It's about a one and a half hour flight over to East Kirkby. Nice take off there, Chris. Here goes Pete. Again, nice takeoff. So we're on our way. And obviously I can't resist foot dragging some haystacks. Um, the wind is a little bit gusty, so I don't get too low. Um, I don't want to break my leg or anything. So our route takes us pretty much directly north to East Kirkby. And we have got a strong headwind actually, so it takes us about an hour and a half to go 25 miles and then we come in for a landing. So there's the airfield directly ahead. Nice. There goes Pete. So Chris is down, very nice. Oh, he's not on his feet. Look at that, Lancaster. Awesome. Bit of a dodgy landing, those are rotor. Look at that, there's a Lancaster bomber. It's a way to do it. Fly into an air show. <laughs> While we're waiting for the air show to start, we have a look around the stalls. A Hawker Hurricane, a Lancaster bomber, and a Spitfire. So, did you know there were seven thousand Lancasters built? and there are only two remaining, and they were both at this air show. What 
What an awesome sight. Such a privilege to see. 6.38. You had a good day? It's been a fantastic day. It's been brilliant, isn't it? It's been yeah. really, really good. Very hospitable stuff. Yeah. How was it? You enjoyed the day? It's great. It's brilliant, wasn't it? It's been great. And here is the organiser. Mind that Lancaster when you take off, yeah? <laughs> you like we did when we get right. <laughs> So 6.38, almost 12 hours from when we took off. And here goes Chris first, nice. followed by Pete. Nice. And then me, in the same order as we took off. What a fantastic day. Truly great staff, really hospitable. Uh, had a good old chat about aviation. They're all aviation lovers and just had a fantastic day. Just really, really enjoyed it. So Jay was supposed to join us on this trip, but unfortunately had carburetor issues. So he spent the day fixing his carb and there he is and uh, gave me some footage uh, from his camera uh, coming over me as, as I come in to land from the air show. Thanks for the footage, Jay. <laughs> Love it! Here comes the British paramotor champion, Dan Jones. That was an epic, absolutely epic flight. Right, Sunday the 7th of August, it's 7.51. And Jay and Lee Dutz have said they're going for a little bimble over to Castle Rising, so I thought, should I join them? Why not? So I was pretty tired after the air show yesterday, so I had a bit of a late start. It's about 9 a.m. now and off to Castle Rising, which is quite a short flight away, probably about half an hour. And uh, just take it low and slow. So it's me, Lee Dutson and Jay go over to Castle Rising. And they peel off and go straight back to the field, but then I head over to Kings Lynn, where I see a paramotor who's not from England, so I don't know where he's from. If you know who it is, or if you're watching the video, let me know in the comments, thanks. So here's Castle Rising, built in 1138, and it fell into disrepair and dereliction in the 16th century through lack of use. It was valued for hunting facilities rather than its military defences. And here's the old church at Babingley, which is also a ruin now. So on the way back to England, I fly over Kings Lynn and see a ozone paraglider. It's white with purple markings on it. So I'm just curious if that was you. Did you know I was there? Leave a comment below. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, hit the like button. And if you're thinking of getting into paramotoring, if you're not a paramotorist already, I uh, highly recommend you go up to Wingland, have a chat with the guys, a really friendly bunch.